If you're using Instagram DM automation or planning to, you need to watch this because most people don't know that there are extra rules you need to follow. And if you break the rules, Instagram might block your account. So in the rest of this video, I will explain what the rules are and how you can keep your account safe. Let's dive in. So what are the Instagram DM rules? So the Instagram DM rules is basically that every time a user sends a message in the DMs, we get a 24 hour window. And within that 24 hour window, we can send messages, we can send follow-ups, we can send notifications, reminders, no problem. But outside the 24 hour window, we can't send any messages. And each new message reopens the 24 hour window. So it basically resets on each new message. So let's give me a quick example. So for example, someone sends you a message, then that 24 hour window opens and then that user doesn't respond for four hours. That means that we have still 20 hours left in the 24 hour window. But then if the user responds, then the 24 hour window reopens again. So what's super important is when you're using Instagram DM automation is that you keep reopening that 24 hour window so that you can send messages to your leads and to your potential customers. So the question now is, is basically, okay, when does it open, right? And it opens every time a user does something that results in a new message from the user. And it's basically a pretty long explanation. So let me give you a quick example. So for example, if someone sends a message that results in a new message from the user, so the 24 hour window reopens. Then if they click on a quick reply, if you click on a quick reply in the Instagram DM, it actually is a new message. So the 24 hour window reopens. When you click on a button that results in a new message, Again, the 24 hour window reopens because we get a new message from the user. Then if someone clicks on a button that goes to a website, then the 24 hour window doesn't reopen because it doesn't result in a new message from the user because the user is basically going to a website. And then lastly, an automatic comments reply, then also the 24 hour window doesn't reopen because that's basically a message from the Instagram account, like from our account, not from the user. So it doesn't reopen, right? So those are basically, that's basically the rule. Now I hear you thinking, why is this important? And there are multiple reasons, but I think the most important reason is that I see a lot of potential leads and customers just left on the table, right? So let me give you a quick example. So this is an example of Brock Johnson and Brock Johnson is an Instagram growth coach. And basically anytime you comment hook on one of his posts, you automatically get this message. And then in this message, it says, okay, the first few seconds are critical. Click here to download my top 25 viral hooks right? And then if you click on this button, that will go to a landing page that will go to his website. And I'm just thinking when I'm seeing this, it's just, there's so much money left on the table, like so, so much potential, because the thing is, is like people get this message, right? Then they click on this button and that button goes to a website. What does that mean? That means that the 24 hour window doesn't open. So Brock, Brock cannot send a follow-up message. Brock cannot send a reminder. Like he cannot do anything with that. Like what I normally would do is, first of all, I wouldn't use a landing page, but that's like a, a separate conversation that we can have another day. Uh, but let's say you will be using a landing page. I would say, okay, uh, do you want to get the link to my hooks? Uh, do you want to get it? And then just add a quick reply. And then you say, okay, awesome. Here's the link, right? And then they still go to a landing page. But the... The difference here is that we have a, a, a two-way conversation. So the user needs to click on a quick reply or something else that results in a new message. And because it results in a new message, that opens up the 24 hour window. And when it opens up the 24 hour window, then we can send reminders. So after you have given, for example, the link to your website, for example, you can basically say, hey, did you manage to get it? Do you have any questions? Maybe you have another free offer, another paid offer that can help them. Like you can do so much more. And that's so important is that you need to be aware of this 24 hour window, how it works, but also when it doesn't open. And in this case, it doesn't open. We cannot send reminders. We cannot have a back and forth conversation. And I think it's just a lot of money on the table. So I think that's the main reason why this is important. Then the second thing what I see often is that a lot of people use Instagram DM automation 
like this email. And for example, they want to, they give an ebook to, to their audience and then they want to say, okay, after two days, I want to send them a follow-up. I want to send a reminder. But that doesn't work because the user is outside the 24-hour window. So because of that, it doesn't work. They cannot do what they want to do. So what you should actually do is send a reminder inside the 24-hour window. That could be after an hour, after 10 hours, after 23 hours, as long as it is inside the 24-hour window. And the last thing that I see often is that people start getting mad at the platform that they are using. So then they basically want to send a reminder, for example, after two days, and then they say, ah, oh, they don't let me send a reminder after two days. What a shitty platform. But it's actually not the platform that's shitty. You're just not aware of the rules. So what I will show you now is how you can never break those Instagram DM rules using ManyChat. And ManyChat is the Instagram DM automation platform that I use for all of my clients. But before I do that, if you find this helpful and you want to learn how to make money with ManyChat, I actually have a free school community that will teach you how to make money with ManyChat, how to get started and how to get your first leads. So if you want to get started with that, please check out the link in description. So if we head over to ManyChat, we will just start in the flow builder. So what you basically can do inside each one of your automations is that you can add a condition. So here you can just click on condition and add a new one. And then you can search for messaging window segment. So here you can select messaging window segment is recent interaction. And what this basically means is that ManyChat will check if someone is inside the 24 hour window. If they are inside the 24 hour window, then we can just send them an Instagram message. We can send, hey, how are you? For example, just an example. It's like, then we can check if they are inside 24 hour window. If they are outside the 24 hour window, then we don't send anything. And this is basically how you can make sure that you never send a message outside the 24 hour window. And you can basically add this to any automation that you are using. Then another thing that's also helpful is the smart delay. So here we have the smart delay. And the thing is, is that often what people are doing is they are giving something away for free in ManyChat, let's say an ebook, and then they want to send a reminder. With the smart delay, it's just super important that you set this to a maximum of 23 hours. You cannot set it more than, than like 24 hours, but you need to set less than 24 hours. So I always recommend to setting it to 23 hours because that actually makes sure that people are still inside the 24 hour window. And you can also use this together with rules. So for example, for a few of my clients, what we do is we send people from ManyChat to a checkout page. And then once they made the order, they actually bought the thing, we have an integration that sends that information back to ManyChat. And then in ManyChat, they get a tag. So we know that if someone gets a tag in ManyChat, they actually bought something and then we want to send an order confirmation. But we only want to send that order confirmation if someone is inside the 24 hour window. And let me show you how you can set it up. So what you can do here is you can go to automation, go to rules. And by the way, if you're not seeing rules, that could be, then you just need to go to display and then click here on show rules section. So what you can do is you can create a new rule and the trigger will, in this case, is a tag. So if someone gets a tag, then we know, okay, they bought something. So I just grab a random tag in my ManyChat account. And then we can add an action here. So the action will be an automation. So I can just create a new automation. And I'll just call this tutorial rules. And then inside this automation, what you do is you add a condition. The condition is messaging window segment is recent interaction. And then you can say, thank you for buying my product, first name, can't wait to see you using it. Just a very simple confirmation that actually improves the customer experience. Because what you do is you set it live, then we use this tutorial rules, and then here you can just click on automation and then start automation, and then click here on tutorial rules, which is the one we just created. Click on saved and click on save and enable. So what this basically does is like anytime someone buys something on the checkout platform, they will get a tag. Once they get this tag, what we then will do is we check, okay, if they are inside the 24 hour window, then we send the order confirmation. And this actually makes sure that we can have a better customer experience because you get an order confirmation, but you will never break the rules. 
And that's it. That's how you can use Instagram DM automation without breaking the rules. And your next step is to actually start with creating your first Instagram DM automation that brings in leads on autopilot. So if you want to get started with that, please check out this video.